If you run a nonprofit, you know that every dollar counts. And especially when you're working in a nonprofit environment, we're going to talk about how nonprofits can make great decisions about being the most findable resource to the people who really need your website. SEO for nonprofits. This can be a challenge. Not only are you working on a typically a pretty tight budget, but your marketing has often been done by volunteers and people rolling in, offering their time to help, which is fabulous. But I want to walk you through maybe a different way to see how your nonprofit would market yourself specifically for findability or SEO online. I want you to meet Mount St. Vincent Home. This is a group that helps people, children primarily, who have been in horribly abusive situations wonderful organization. They do all kinds of amazing work in the Denver community. Now I did a day where I came in and I work with their nonprofit. And you'll see here we've got their team. Very small team doing a whole lot of work. When I sat down and we really started to think about how do we make them findable to really the people who need their help. So this is not so much about getting out to paying clients. This is about outreach to the parents of or, or to the families that have had children that have been somehow abused or have been mentally challenged in some specific situation. So let me show you what we did for them. What you're seeing here is the start of their what we call a, a website, a keyword website map. So every single thing that they want to rank for has to have their own keyword phrase. So you'll see here that child behavioral treatment gets 8,640 searches a year. That's a lot. We want to get into some of that search action. But then underneath that, they also do art therapy. That's 177,000 searches a year. Animal assisted therapy, that's 34,800 searches a month. Play therapy, 64,800 searches a month. Cognitive behavioral therapy, 594,000 searches per month. Then of course, we've got medication therapy management. So all of these very specific keyword phrases that speak exactly to the people that need them the most. So it's not about being salesy here. It's about showing up to them in a meaningful way that you can help them immediately. So a lot of times it's like, oh, we do autistic research or we do behavioral research, very generic phrases, but that's not necessarily how people are searching. So let's meet transitionsusa.org. This organization does wonderful work with adults who have autism, young adults that is, who have left high school. Now their benefits end when they leave high school. So there's this massive gap in that whole transition period. So transitionsusa.org helps young adults to transition into real life. They're doing some amazing work. However, their website was completely unfindable. They had great photos. They have a wonderful mission. They're doing some great work, but they're completely unfindable. So let me show you what we did to make them the most findable resource in autism. So what you're seeing in front of you is a sitemap. Now a sitemap helps to navigate your thought leadership around how other people are searching. So I say you got to get them into church before you convert them. Meaning I got to use their language first and then I'm going to then dazzle them with what you do second. Now most companies do the other way around. They talk about what they do and then they talk about the creative sizzle once they get there. No. You got to talk about what their keyword is first, then you can convert them once they get to the website. So take a look at this. We've got four chapters in Transitions website. We have autism, career employment, college, and autism resources. So let's take a look at how do we make them findable to people in their area that are searching for this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is they're located in New York and we're going to put New York and all the surrounding locations in the footer. So when people are searching for things like autism jobs, autism employment opportunities, getting a job with autism, autism summer jobs. These are all very specific things that most likely either the, the person who is challenged with autism or their family members are searching for. So we want to show up right where they are. 
And so if I type in autism summer jobs gets 1,080 searches per month, that's a lot of people that need their help. Also we have like autism transition program, autism college, autism supports in college, autism reading programs, and autism homework strategies. Do you see how these are so very specific about things that they will need when they go to college? So if someone types in autism homework strategies, they're gonna meet transitions for the first time. It's like a fabulous virtual handshake. And this organization is doing some fantastic work. So as a result of the work we did with them, then we went back in and we built a beautiful website for them. Now, when you search for these specific phrases, you're gonna find them in the greater New York area. And those are the people that they can help the most. So as a nonprofit, don't think that you can't afford SEO and you don't have to hire expensive SEO professionals to do this for you. You just have to make sure that you're thinking like how the people that need you the most are searching and you show up to them when they need you most. I love helping nonprofits and if you liked what you heard today, sign up for a findability review. Let's all get on the phone. Let me walk you through what's happening with your website, how you rank, and let's make sure that you can serve as many people as possible and really help to change their lives through your nonprofit. Oh.